Good morning. I'm going to show you a little device that can really change your life. And I'm really being serious about it. Before I had this device, I rarely ate pineapples. In fact, probably almost never, only on vacation. Now that I got this little device, I eat pineapples all the time. I grow pineapples, or we grow pineapples, Chris and I, and we eat pineapples on a regular basis. So let me show you the little device. Now, normally, when you think about cutting up a pineapple, you think, well, I got to have this. I got to have a knife. But that's not true. Let me show you the device that can have you eating pineapple every week, every day if you want to, every other day. It's this little device here you see. It's called a pineapple core. And you find this pineapple core in most stores. And in the other videos, I'll show you very simple, how you take off the top of the pineapple, how you use the device. And trust me, this device can change your life, it can change your health, because you'll be eating more fresh pineapple, and pineapple is supposed to be excellent for your digestion and for your stomach. And then you can use the top of the pineapple, you can root them, you can start growing them, they make nice house plants. I have not yet been able to get a pineapple from the plant, but I probably could if I exercised a little bit more care and took care of the pineapple plant a little better. But now let me show you um, how to use the pineapple core after I explain to you where our pineapples come from. Now if you look at the pineapple we purchased from Harris Teeter Grocery Store, you'll notice it's a dull pineapple. Now if I flip the um, label over, the dull pineapple, you will see that this pineapple is a product of Costa Rica. The majority of our pineapples, no, they don't come from Hawaii, they come from Costa Rica. But if you ever travel to Hawaii, one point, you can buy a box of pineapple, bring them back on the airplane and pay no shipping. It's part of what's known as the Aloha Spirit, and airlines allow you to bring pineapples back from Hawaii at no cost to you. Okay, what I mean is, not that the pineapples are free. Trust me, they're not giving away free pineapples in Hawaii, but you can get fresh pineapples in Hawaii for $5 at Costco on the roadside. However, there's no additional shipping. They don't charge you like a suitcase for this box of pineapples. You can bring it on the airplane and they allow you to bring it on, carry on or check baggage with no additional shipping charge. Now a little bit now a little bit more about the pineapple core. It comes in two pieces. You can see it there. The handle comes apart. I'll show you in a minute how you take the handle apart. When you hold the handle, you could actually just push in here and you pull off the top of the handle. And then you can put it back in the drawer. At the bottom of the pineapple core, there are two teeth. One teeth goes over the core stem and the other cuts the pineapple. And if you notice the hole, the hole is what gives you a nice spiral shape. If you think of a spiral ham or a spiral apple, this is how it will cut your pineapple. What's the cost of this device? It's relatively inexpensive. You can find it online at Amazon for $10 or less. Just look at the um, link down below for Amazon. You can find it generally at your grocery store. Target carries it for sure. If you're in the Philippines, Lazada carries them as well online. So a pineapple core, and you'll see how in five minutes, five minutes, you can core a pineapple and have delicious pineapple. The first step with the pineapple is to take the top off. So what you do is just take the top, take your hand, twist, it comes off. The top is off the pineapple. Now after you have removed the pineapple, if you want to plant this, as shown here in the glass, what you want to do is remove the lower leaves from the pineapple. This will expose the root nodules. And then after you remove the leaves, just put it in the glass. And if you look at the glass closely, you'll see the roots have started to grow on this pineapple. Then after they grow a little bit, 
just put it in a pot and you can grow a pineapple plant. Okay, we turn the pineapple upside down because what you'll find out, it's always sweeter at the bottom because the juice drains to the bottom. Someone said leave it a couple hours like this and the juice evens back out. So we'll try it. It's really not that much less sweeter, but it's definitely sweeter at the bottom. But we'll leave it like this for a couple hours and then we'll check it. Okay, one of the first things I do is, uh, before I cut the pineapple, I rinse it off. I like to try to rinse any loose dirt so forth because some of the juice will come out of the pineapple. And I like to save the juice if at all possible. I'll drink it right away. Nice and washed, so I'll put it underneath the plate, let the water drain off, and then I will cut it. Okay, now we're ready to cut it. I just uh, cut it back, maybe the first nodule, and it's just a straight cut all the way through the pineapple, and then you see the pineapple's still nice and fresh. Okay, now we're ready to use the core. Okay, here's our pineapple core. Remember the two pieces? So the two pieces go together. And now I put the pineapple over the center. Now you count how long it takes, and you just Turn it in, just turn it down to the till you get to the bottom of the pineapple. Sometimes a big pineapple, I'll measure to see how far it goes down. And so we keep turning, we keep turning, we keep turning. When I feel it spin, I know I'm at the bottom. It'll spin. There, I'm at the bottom. I can feel it. And it just spins freely. Now I'm going to hold this handle and I'm just going to hold the pineapple and pull up. And there you have it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the container. So to put it in the container, I have to take the top back off. Take the top off, put it down, take the pineapple, turn it over, and it's in the container. Now here's what you have left. There's some juice in there, and I'll show you how I slice this up to get the remaining bits of the pineapple out of here. Now a big pineapple from Costco, which usually has big pineapples, it will have a very large, so you have a lot of pineapple to cut. The pineapples from the grocery store are not as large as Costco or BJ's, but the ones from the grocery store work nevertheless. So now you have fresh pineapple, nicely peeled, nicely round, that you can serve up throughout the week or you can serve it as a special meal. So this is how we core a pineapple. Okay, there's the pineapple cut off. Now we're going to start the coring process. Here's the core. I'm going to put the core right in the center of the pineapple. I buy these pineapples from Costco. No shout out to Costco, but I find they're bigger than the drugstore pineapples. They cost $2.99. You can see they're actually more round than the core. Sometimes I'll do like this to see how far the core has to go down in the pineapple. You can see about to where the spot is where the handle plugs into the core. Okay, I'm ready to core the pineapple. I might make mention when you turn the core all the way into the pineapple and you get to the bottom, it usually sprint, spins freely. Just a note, the sweetest part of the pineapple is the bottom. Now I'm going to pull the pineapple up out of the shell. You'll see this. Okay, now I'm pulling the pineapple up out the core. You see how easily it comes out. And it's already spiraled as well. It comes all the way out. That's the pineapple out of the core. Uh, just to show you, this is what we have. There's the pineapple out of the core. There's what's remaining of the core or the shell. Now I'll cut this in two, the pineapple, and I will actually trim around and get some of this excess that's on the edge. So that's the pineapple out the core. What you do now is you remove the handle 
and you turn it over and you put it in a container. See the handle comes off and now what I'll do is I'll just turn it over I just pick it up turn it over like such place it in the container the pineapple comes off and there you have it. you have cored your pineapple you're done I take these on vacation with me when I go to Hawaii, the tropics, Philippines, anywhere like that where there's pineapple I'm going to eat. I like to buy fresh pineapple. Okay, now what I like to do, I like to save the juice that's here. So I'll just pour the juice in the glass because I'm going to drink this juice fresh. The next thing I do is... Uh, I cut this so I can get the little pineapple that's on the sides. There's not much in this small pineapple. Some people might want to just save this for a decoration. One person told me the kids, they used to give the kids the core. It's full of fiber. And uh, I can't eat the whole thing because it's too chewy. But you could eat the core. But here's how you cut it. I cut it just like this. Right down the center. Then I'll just cut the core out. Pour any more juice I have here. And then what I do, I'll take one of the halves and pour the juice out of here too. I'll take this half and I'll cut it again. And if you're wasteful you, or you don't want to bother, you don't have to save this part of the pineapple. But like I said, on big pineapple, you're going to have a lot remaining. And then I'll just take and cut this out and this will give you your remaining pineapple and then what I do after I cut this out I will squeeze this and get the rest of the juice out and that's just because I like to try to save as much as possible and I'm going to drink this juice immediately well that's you have it that's coring the pineapple I have to admit that little pineapple coring device really changed how we eat pineapples before the device we didn't really eat a lot of pineapples. Now with the core, it's so simple to do a pineapple that we're able to core it quickly, fast, and we're done. Before this, it'd probably be a 30-minute job trying to skin the pineapple, take the eyes out, and all of that. So there you have it. Make sure you get yourself a pineapple core. This is my first pineapple plant that we grew. This was a Hawaiian pineapple. It came from Hawaii. It's several years old, probably three or four. Pineapple plants tend to be very temperamental when you move them around, but they're very hardy plants. Here's some smaller ones we have, and here is another plant that we have. When I say they're temperamental, the leaves tend to die when they're put in a new climate. But once they're in that climate and they adjust, the old leaves die, the new leaves will come out. It said it takes about two years to get a plant. I was hoping to get a plant from here, but when I transplant in the uh, spring, that's when they usually have trouble and they start over. So this time I might leave it inside all summer and see if I can get a plant or a pineapple finally out of this, a fruit out of this pineapple. couple still shots of our pineapples and I want to thank Karen Black a friend of ours who gifted us the pineapple core and remember you can get the pineapple core from Amazon Target your local grocery store if you like our video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel Lakot TV I'll have more videos on food technology and travel